Today we're talking about emergency exit. Hello, my name is Karen Sims and this is Twisted Threads and you joined us for our Reflections of Purpose. As we come to you a couple of times a week to give you some things for you to reflect on, to remind you of the purpose that you have in your life. And so we wanted to specifically talk on today's topic emergency exit. And I know, you know, I enjoy making up these topics and then you're like, what is she going to talk about? I want to specifically focus on when we need to find, take, run to an emergency exit when things and people might be just wilding out in our lives. So a lot of times we are focused, we set our goals, we said, okay, this is the thing that I'm going to do and we're on track to do it. And then there are things and people that might get in our way that make us have to take the time to reevaluate which way we're going. Okay. And the importance of the emergency exit is sometimes we've got to exit out of bad relationships or relationships that are costing us too much. And understand this doesn't just mean, um, uh, romantic relationships. It could be business relationships. It could be the relationship you have with your boss, wherever you've got a, an area where something is costing you too much. You got to take that time to evaluate and figure out what, so I love it because I do fly a lot. I travel quite often, but here's the part of traveling that I really don't like. So when you get on the plane, sometimes they'll kind of, and I say bribe you with the extra leg seat that's in the emergency exit row. And then they say, Hey, you're in the emergency exit row. And we need for you to verbally acknowledge that if someone is in trouble, you are willing to help us as part of the crew. Now here's my challenge with that. I love all of you. Here is my contribution to society in me giving these videos and our reflections of purpose. When I am on an airplane, I have not been trained on what to do. So, I feel that it would be me doing a disservice to you if I say yes, that I'm going to stay in that exit row. Why? Because I barely could swim or probably put that thing over my, look, just understand we're going to all be in trouble if you're waiting on me to uh, handle the whole emergency exit thing. And then every now and then, because I'm traveling, they'll say, oh, you know, we've switched your seat and we pushed you up the ladder. So you'll get, a, you know, a seat 11 or 12 versus 25. No, I'm good with seat 25. I just need the plane to go up and down safely. Um, but I always take it as sort of like that self checkout line in the grocery store. I'm not getting paid to do these things. So because I take that so seriously, you have to understand I do the same thing with all of my relationships, with all of my um, business opportunities. It's my chance to kind of say, hmm, what are the things that cause me to say I need to find an emergency exit? Because you know what happens in that emergency exit? I'm going to get out. I don't know what's going to happen with the rest of you. Cause if we're in an emergency, look, they always tell you take care of yourself first and then you can help other people. So here's how I want us to kind of take a view of this and figure out how we'll be able to help other people. So when someone pressures you to be a representative of yourself in a way that you're not comfortable with, it might be time for you to look for an emergency exit because even though we all have an opportunity to grow and push forward and we're always talking about our comfort zone, look, there's a difference between pushing yourself out of your comfort zone, but we still want you to show up. We don't want a different version of you that is not going to be recognizable to other people. We still want the benefit of the essence of you. So when people kind of, you know, I love the movie dirty dancing and it's always like nobody puts baby in the corner. When somebody puts me in the corner, we got a problem. Okay. Because I know that not just for me, but for you as well, you've been created in this world to be great. And so when someone pressures you or expects you to be someone you're not, that's an opportunity for you to think about, uh, should we look for an emergency exit? When you keep giving second and third chances to relationships, when people do not 
take your trust as an optimal thing. Some people don't know how to walk in a trustworthy manner and it's okay for them, but it doesn't mean that your loyalty will cause you to be in a bad situation every single time. Look, people make mistakes. I've made one already today and the sun probably hasn't even come up all that much yet. You'll do the same thing today and tomorrow and we can expect certain things. But when people show you who they are, we hear the quote, that always say, believe them. So if you've had to give a second or third chance and you've set the boundary to say, Hey, don't go past this line. And somehow they keep getting on the other side of that line. That might be an opportunity for you. What find the emergency exit, get up out of that situation because it's not going to yield positive things for your life. Look, if you never get a chance to speak your mind, I know I'm a talker, but I have to actively listen when I'm talking to people, um, especially with me being a life coach. That's my job to listen to what are your dreams? What are your aspirations? What are the obstacles you think are in your life? But if there is never a time that you have a relationship where your voice can't be heard, what? Find the emergency exit. Yeah, this is important stuff. Look, if you're frequently forced to sacrifice your happiness for somebody else and it's never your turn to be supported or never your turn to be celebrated, you already know. Karen is what? Finding the emergency exit. This is a time in our lives and we could be all at different stations in our lives, but we all need support. In different parts of our journey, we'll need more support. I love it because um, I was remembering, and I know it, it seems sad, but I had to be reflective when my mom passed away. One of the most challenging times in my life that I didn't know what to do. I wasn't sure, you know, okay, get dressed, eat. Uh, get out the bed, go to the bathroom, shower. These things seem general to you, but I needed people in my life who were able to support me during that time of this was a new normal that I was created. Why? Because for my entire life, my mom has been uh, a part of my life. And then a day came where she was no longer there. But the part that I loved the most was not just on the day that she passed, but for weeks to come, I had a series of sisters and brothers who supported me in ways that I will never forget. And I admit that my loyalty is, is kind of um, connected to what people have done for me. So if you ever done one thing, you know, usually you're on the list. I'm, you're on the prayer list. I'm trying to support you. I'm rooting for you. But in that, those days when I didn't know what to do. There were sisters and brothers who were surrounding me. And when I say lifting me up, I mean in a way of it wasn't just prayer. It was dinner. It was, did you cry today? Who's got a friend who asked you, did you cry today? And not for, you know, the sympathy to be like, oh, you shouldn't cry today. It was to remind me that in my busyness, it was okay to feel the grief and the loss of my mom. You know, did I dance? I'm telling you, these are real people in my life. And I have to be reminded that everybody doesn't have these in their circle. But guess what? It's okay for you to continue to look for them. But you got to sometimes take that emergency exit so that you can find those people who will support you, who will lift you up. I know that these messages from Twisted Threads are impacting your life and mostly it's because I've got a support system of people who are around me and surrounding me in ways that I couldn't even begin to describe. It's more than the prayers. It's more than the laughs on the phone. It's more than the goofy movies. It's more than the, woo, we missed that one. It's more than us two knowing that the Statue of Limitations have not yet run out on the shenanigans. So yeah, we won't be talking about those things. But when you think about what is it that you need in your life, you gotta think who needs to go. And if you can't get out the emergency exit, guess what? Just like on that plane, you click that latch and you kick that door open and push them out so that they do not have direct access of your life. Look, for folks who want you to support them and they never to support you, what? Emergency exit. Dream killers. 
Get them to the emergency exit as soon as possible. Joy thieves, get them to the emergency exit as soon as possible. Why? Because your life literally depends on it. We need you to be full of joy. We need you to be full of hope and energy, and we need your dreams to flourish. That's why we're here at Twisted Threads. Look, got a couple more, and then we're going to get right to what? Going down a list so that you can reflect on who do you need to eject out of your life. Hit them over to the emergency exit and continue to move on. Look. If you truly dislike the situation, whether it's job, relationship, the place where you live, the town or the city, the, the church that you go to, you've got to figure out what are the things, what are the reasons why you dislike it? Because sometimes we can be petty. I know I say it often. I can be petty, but there's always an opportunity for you to say, hmm, what is it that is causing me to dislike something? Is it me? Am I getting in my own way? Because sometimes you got to kind of emergency exit your bad attitude. How about that? It's not so much we can't emergency exit ourselves, but we can emergency exit our bad attitudes, our negativity that might come up. If you got a problem for every solution, think about that. How come there's always a negative thing to be said when somebody is coming up with a solution? Don't be that person. That's step one in all of this. Look, if you catch yourself uh, obsessing over things or living in the past or keeping yourself stuck, you got to get those thoughts and do what? Get them into the emergency exit. Look, this is Twisted Threads. We're here to support you in all of the different areas of your life. And it's important that we understand that your dream and your destiny is so important to the rest of the world that sometimes we've got to abort relationships. We got to get to the emergency exit and be reminded what that unless we do the work, the celebration and the party can't continue. And as always, you know, I am here for the party. So let's do the work. Let's get to the emergency exit and dump off the things that are weighing us down in our lives or causing us not to have focus. This is Twisted Threads, our reflections of purpose. Remember to like and share these videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and as always, make it an amazing day. Reflections of purpose.